Welcome to Decker Tech. I'm Aaron Decker, and today we're doing the starting guide for Evelyn. I know she's been a little late to the party, but uh, she is a stand-up gal, and let's get through her deck. I am at max difficulty here. I did not do any divinations, so this is the bare, bare minimum. Uh, on any difficulty, this guide will is applicable to any of the difficulties because you will always have this many or more shards, and all these items, all these cards I'm picking are good with or without perks. Uh, they're just obviously better with perks, but like I said, uh, this is the worst deck you can get uh, starting in the town, and you can always look for better, So, and this deck will get you, this will complete Madness 16, so this deck should succeed for you. Let's uh, get into it. Uh, so first off, let's talk about the cards that we kept and upgraded. So Elemental Ward, we kept two of them, crafted one more, and upgraded to the Zero Cost Vanish. The reason we have uh, three of them total and not four or or you know, whatever, is that Insulate is a very powerful effect and very needed for, say, the tree, or if you're going to the hatch, Belfir, or any of the Act 2 or 3s. Sorry, I'm being a little fussy. I'm in a weird mood. Uh, the Insulate is just a very good survival tool, and any support mage should be providing Insulate to the entire team. And Evelyn, since she starts with these elemental wards, it's actually really great to just craft three of them. And the reason we're not crafting more is because Evelyn, at the start of her turn, gained one insulate. So she basically always has insulate. Unless it gets purged off her for some reason, even then she gets it the very next turn. So she is always resistant to elements. So she though she's the one that you need to worry the least about having the uh, the insulate going on. So we'll keep those element towards. That's just a great utility card. Yes, it's across three cards, but that's actually pretty good for Evelyn in the late game. And uh, since she's starting with two of them, it's just so much cheaper than crafting this prismatic field because we just crafted a 72 shard one and upgraded a couple of them for 30. So overall, cheaper, puts more zero cost vanish in our deck, easier to cast. And later on, it's, it's perfectly fine to... You know, you can adjust the numbers you need, and it, the the low cost help her deck a lot. The other card we kept is Transmission. Now, Transmission is not a good card. This version is playable and is good because it generates resources. These two versions do not generate any resources. All they do is transfer transfer resources. And since Evelyn doesn't have any inherent synergies with skills it doesn't actually benefit us in any way. So the we upgraded to the yellow one, it's Vanish, and it's generating ourselves one energy. The, sorry, brain fart here. Also, uh, distraction in the background. The Ice Lance, uh, we're adding some speed manipulation. So support mages, want to help manipulate the speed of our enemies. A couple ways you can do that, and that uh, I've added here, you can go multiple copies of these if you don't like just the one of each that I have right now. Ice Lance and Curse of Exhaustion are both very good. Evelyn uh, can play into Frost and Chill very well. Uh, so you might keep Ice Lance a little longer than you would Curse of Exhaustion, so maybe running two of these might be better, or you kind of mix and match as you please. Curse of Exhaustion is nice because of the, the purging fast. The reason that you might not run Curse of Exhaustion, though, even though it's you know, very, it's doing a lot here, is if your warrior is already consistently applying slow, then you're not actually slowing anything down more, whereas you can stack the chill stacks, because every five is minus one speed, you can stack that with the slow that your warriors or your scouts may be applying, and it's just another way to slow the enemy down. You kind of manipulate the order of the enemies in your team a little better. So I, I like Ice Lance a lot. Uh, the damage doesn't look that bad, I mean, doesn't look that good, but it's really not that bad, especially since in the hatch and in the fire biome, uh, chill will, I mean, frost damage will get you a, a very long way. Well, we'll keep the mana gem. It's, it's very good. It's, usually I don't like just straight energy cards that don't replace themselves card-wise, but Evelyn has a way around that later that makes the mana gem worth it, and we'll get to that uh, later as well. Uh, we cut, I would cut one more charge battery if I could, I just can't afford it, I just didn't want to go over budget here. If I could, I would craft, uh, maybe a Firestorm. I think Firestorm would be good, because we want, uh, maybe an Elemental Bolt, those are kind of fun to play with on Evelyn. Uh, but really the reason I'd go Emberstorm, sorry, Emberstorm, not Firestorm. Emberstorm is, 
it uh, puts the, the debuffs on everyone. It removes, uh, it's a blanket, remove evasion, remove buffer, uh, which depending on how many corruptors you're taking or, or how long you're keeping this in your deck, uh, that'll be a good card for you uh, down the road. It's just a, a consistent way to uh, remove annoyances for your main DPS that they don't want to deal with. The, the evasions, the buffers, the um, enchantments on the opponents. So just a blanket AoE, and you can never go wrong with Ember Storm. Uh, you're if you're supporting Cornelius, you'll be bringing in these Ignites, or you can even do the, the non-vanishing Ignite if you had enough energy. Uh, but depending on who you're supporting is, is what you're going to do differently. Cauterize is a really good card, depending on who, what you're doing is which one you'll bring. If you're playing with, say, a Grookly, you're going to want this blue one to always remove the bleed on him. And not and put any debuffs. If you're helping a Cornelius, you want this white one because you want to set Cornelius on fire sometimes and or just heal people with the bleed. And some world you might want to remove burn, but I don't I haven't played in that world too much. But there's 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 always the options of cauterize. And especially in Act One, the cauterize will get you a very long way for helping your healer, just because there's a lot of bleed applied to the, the front target mainly, but just in general a lot of bleed that this heal. The healing is is quite noticeable and a big difference. Uh, yeah, so I don't like I don't like charge battery. It's this doesn't doesn't do anything for us. It's basically just a dead card. Uh, Fire blast does just as much damage, and both of these cost zero, right? So, yes, it supplies spark, but we're not benefiting from spark in many ways. If I had more shards, I'd actually be upgrading these to the ones that apply burn especially if I'm high level and have perks because this burn adds up very fast. And since it is any monster, you can you can get it going fairly well. Uh, much better for tree than say the hatch, but there's usually at least one target that you can burn down fairly well and fire blast stack really well. So our final cards are gonna be three fire blasts, maybe an ember storm, maybe a frost bolt. I wouldn't mind something else that has chill if I could craft it. That's why I mentioned elemental bolt. It, it does a lot of things. You might go uh, with a Frost Nova just for the chill. Problem is it does four chill with perks, not five. So you're not guaranteed to slow everything down. Kind of like this Frost Bolt that's kind of sitting there at this moment. That's why the Ice Lance is so good because it actually does the, the five chill stacks. But it's really going to depend. The, the final two or three cards are going to be a lot to do with what can I do to support... Uh, who who else is in my team so the dps in my team so in the case of cornelius i don't have it showing here i would have the ignite uh for him but you'll everyone will have something different to fill out those last spots i've kind of babbled and gone in circles about these cold spark keep it it's great uh you might cut it eventually near the end of the game but it'll do you good for the first act or two uh ch just two sets of damage and chill is very good the double the the two damage types is really affected by mark so when you're going to cast the Cold Spark, make sure that if there's someone marked down by one of your scouts or, or warriors or whatnot, uh, really consider hitting that target because you're going to do a significant amount of damage uh, compared to any other target because you're double dipping in the, the mark that has been applied. Let's talk about skills. Uh, so the biggest reason you're going to be running Evelyn as a support is Enchant Weapon. This is phenomenal. It changes the damage type. It doesn't show it here, but she can choose either fire, frost, or lightning. And it'll add those, both the, the chill and or burn and or and direct damage to every attack that someone does. 12 charges, uh, 12 attacks basically. So she can chill, she can slow things down a lot. She can lower the resistances of all the elementals. She pairs really well with mages for the enchant weapons. Uh, you might go elemental proliferation if for some reason your team doesn't think they need the enchant weapons but i would say nine times out of ten we're going enchant weapons so like if you know what you're doing with elemental proliferation sure but you're really not here to do uh damage the the reason that you'd be doing this is for all the debuffs but i think for the most part you can just get more out of the enchant weapons for the debuff side of things and you can also just apply it to your damage dealer instead of yourself uh, and or you can keep it up on both because it'll cycle through your deck because this this will stay in your deck and you can use it multiple times because this vanishes but the the enchantment that you create does not 
I wish I, I wish I could show it in more in detail, but I can't. Uh, level two, we don't really need powerful on ourselves, and we don't need block, and we don't need dispel. They're all the the dispel is a pretty nice thing overall, but for the most part, elemental amplifier. We're just trying to throw out more chills, slow the enemies down, debuff them, lower their resistances. Um, this this is the way you're gonna go. Spell echo. If you're supporting someone that has a really big spell and you're comboing off, this will be the a very powerful tool because this could be cast on hero. So whoever you put it on, when they cast a spell, it'll be 10 powerful and they'll get a new copy of it. Remember, this only copies spells, not other abilities. So Evelyn, when she's supporting, is nine times out of ten. Well, most of the time you're going to use an Evelyn support with uh, an elemental or some sort of caster DPS. Arcane Conduit is, uh, is the one I normally go to. Uh, this will just allow you to, to cycle through your deck very fast once you get to it. There's not really a... Um, a consistent way to get it in your opening hand or to, or to draw it fast but once you draw it you will go through your deck f very fast uh, you're not really interested about the the gaining powerful part it's the drawing cards part and last but not least you'll probably go with the elemental weaver just for the energy um, and this is where that elemental bolt comes in you can cast elemental bolt for free because <laughs> uh, you're getting three energy back for it but uh, Glass Cannon is always an option. These Neither of these really play into the uh, support side of Evelyn much. But once you get to level 5, you'll have a good idea of which one will help you the best for your team comp. It's really... The biggest decision point for a support Evelyn is enchant weapons or elemental proliferation. And most of the time, you're picking Evelyn as a support for enchant weapons. Uh, and if you'd like a little showcase of that, I have done that. And there should hopefully be a link for it. E equipment, uh, I'll usually go for a pen for her because you're eventually going to get scrolls of intellect and tomes of intellect. So I'd get the, the pen weapons. Other than that, there's not really anything that uh, cries out to me specifically. If you're going heavy into the frost version of uh, support Evelyn, like speed control, you can get the, the frozen orb. Uh, but armor and accessory, there's nothing that is like specifically this you must get for Evelyn uh, that comes to mind. Yeah. If you have any questions, please let me know, and I will catch you later. Peace.